I'll introduce myself quickly. My name is Kevin Virgil, and I'm uh, your candidate to represent the 4th District in Congress next year. I'm running against uh, Congressman Feenstra. I'm glad to uh, see him here today. Uh, just a little bit of background about me. I grew up uh, just up the road here in O'Brien County. I'm a fifth generation in Iowa. My dad, who's here today, uh, still owns the farm that my family homesteaded in the 1870s. And I grew up in a hog farm, back in hog farms, or small hog farms are still a thing here in Iowa. And uh, after high school, I went to West Point, served in the Army uh, for a few years. And then after 9-11, had an opportunity to serve a nation a second time with the Indian intelligence community, uh, mostly overseas. Um, eventually, I started a business, which I've been running for most of the past 10 years. And along the way, I've maintained close ties with my family, friends, and neighbors, all here in Iowa. And like all of you, um, over the past few years, I've become increasingly concerned about the direction our country's taking, certainly at a national level, but uh, also right here in Iowa. And I think, we, uh, like, I think we can all agree that we have a federal bureaucracy today that's completely out of control. And in order to cut it down to size, we need legislators that respect the Constitution to return us to those constitutional principles. And I'm sad to say that today the 4th District doesn't have that. Um, in fact, the, the reason I'm here today, the, uh, the reason I'm running is because uh, my opponent here, our congressman, has very quietly proven to be one of the worst uh, conservatives in Congress. Um, you know, he's, uh, Western Iowa is one, of Iowa's, is one of America's most conservative districts, and it, uh, it demands somebody who has a strong conservative voting record. And yet, uh, Congressman Feeds the rates in the bottom third of the entire Republican Party. And that's because he repeatedly votes against the Constitution in order to appease his big donors who, who have given him over 97% of his campaign funds. Uh, one of those donors is Bruce Rastetter, whose name I'm sure will come up today. Uh, who gave Mr. Feenster a $26,000 donation exactly one week before he and the other Iowa House Republicans ran through billions of dollars of tax credits and a federal spending bill uh, that enabled this, uh, this carbon capture pipeline, or as I like to call it, this abomination that is uh, threatening to erode the uh, Fifth Amendment rights of the landowners all over Iowa. Um, four, out of, four out of five islands are opposed to eminent domain for carbon capture. And yet, uh, Mr. Feenster and many of our elected representatives are, are pushing full steam ahead to make this happen. Um, it doesn't stop there, unfortunately. You know, he's, he's turned his back on the Fourth Amendment by voting against the bill that required the federal government to get a warrant to spy on you, the U.S. citizen. Um, he's, voted, he's refused to vote alongside conservative Republicans who push hard to close the border. Um, time again, he's proven that he's willing to trample on your constitutional rights. And I think Iowa deserves better. Um, so. Look, I don't need to lie or uh, push out full-page attack ads like my opponent's been doing for the last couple of months. I just need to talk about his voting record, which is what I've been doing all along. And I intend to represent this district very differently. So thank you for having me. I want to thank you everyone for coming today. It's a beautiful day. I know some of you can be out in the field. Uh, I see a lot of tractors in the field uh, if they come down. But uh, uh, we got to get this by the first of June. I want to thank uh, Kevin Burke for coming. I want to thank you for your military service. Thank you very much. Uh, I also want to thank my wife. My wife and I have been married 31 years. We have four wonderful children. Three that just graduated uh, out of college. I just want to say she's been the love of my life. We met at the local pizza ranch when we were uh, uh, working together. You know, I grew up in Hall, Iowa. I grew up in Northwest Iowa. I grew up throwing papers at nine years of age. And then working at the Hall Bakery when I was in high school and then the Supreme Packing Plant running in college. I understand the value of work. I understand the values of the 4th District. Religion comes first, family comes second, work comes third. That's how we live. And so as I, as I grew up, I, I understood that we also have to serve the public. I became city administrator, county treasurer, and then state senator, and now in the U.S. Congress, which I take extremely seriously. And I think about what it means to serve. When I first got elected three years ago, I said, I have to do everything to deliver results for a fourth district. Deliver. Deliver on our values, deliver on our work ethic, deliver on making that we all have a better way of life. And that's what I try to do every single day. We're here to talk about agriculture. You think about agriculture in Iowa. It's the economic engine of our state, literally the economic engine. We rank over the entire nation, we rank in Iowa number one, 
Number one in corn, number one in hogs, number one in biofuels. Second, when it comes to soybeans. And three, four, and five when it comes to livestock, egg production, when it comes to turkeys, when it comes to you name whatever other commodity there is. The fourth district, the district I represent, is the second largest egg district in the country. That's how important this is. And you think about it, if, if ag struggles, if ag struggles in the fourth district, what happens? It affects our main streets. It affects our hospitals, our schools, our families. That's why it's so important that we have this forum today, that we can talk about the number one economic engine in our great state. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to taking your questions today. All right, let's get out.